let's talk about what I want you to do in this week's lab. So this is this is going to be a more one of the more interesting ones um, compared to the rest of the labs because we really can't do much about these termites online. But but I think I found a way around it. So um, you've looked at the lab handout, right? And you saw after you looked at the lecture and you did the lecture quiz, um, you you see this experiment you're supposed to be doing there. And you're going to do this experiment, except you're going to use simulated termite data. Um, so experiments start with an observation. So the first thing you need to do is you do observations. Obviously, we didn't send you home with termites, so you're going to watch videos. And this is really not too dissimilar from what you normally see in in um, in like real research. In real research, um, a lot of times we will we will do experiment behavioral experiments with mice or something. Um, and in order to have a record of it so that somebody else can watch the same behavior again, um, we will we will make a video of it. Um, and so this is this is really not unlike um, so Imagine you're looking at somebody else's data, right? So you're going to go to this website, uh, and the website is accessible to you through. Um, hang on, I'm on the wrong place here. Um, scientific method under demonstrations you have a link to the resources. So this is where the resource site is. This is where you're going to find um, access to these videos. So go to these videos and play them. And think about what are you seeing. Um, and then ideally what I actually would do if I were you, I'd go ahead and record it on the piece of paper first. Um, so are these termites doing anything that's kind of fascinating? Are they following any lines? Are they following any markers? Are they what are they doing? Um, and then you're going to develop some hypotheses. You're going to be like, oh, I think the rule here is that the termites do this all the time, or they do that all the time, or whatever the case may be. So three of them. Um, so then we would do this in the lab, and this is where the where the um, the quiz differs a little bit. So I'm going to jump into the quiz real quick so that you see what you're looking at there. So this is the handout sec section, handout question set quiz. I'm going to go view the assessment. Um, so in order to make your life easier, right, you can also watch the termite video from there. It's the same Google site. So note observation A observation B, observation C, those exactly the same as the um, as the observations that you would have recorded on the on the question set. Um, and then three hypotheses. And then you have to choose to test one of them. So just list the one that you're going to test. Now we're going to have to talk a little bit and, and the, the, the handout talks about um, dependent and independent variables. And so I want you to start thinking about what is a dependent, what is an independent variable. Um, and so think about what it is that you can measure. And this is related to the dependent and the independent variables. So think about what you can measure, because you can't measure if a termite likes something. You can't measure like, right? Or how would you measure like? If, if you can measure like, how would you measure like? Because measure means something with numbers, right? You're going to have to create some numbers. Um, so first, I want you to think about what kind of numbers you could possibly create. Um, and then what what kind of data would you would you gather? What you know, so put your data answer in there. What what is it that you are going to measure? Um, then you got to think about the dependent and the independent variables. Which one is which? Um, what are you holding constant? How many times are you repeating the experiment? Um, and so then here, um, there, there is a set of essay questions you're going to have to answer. But in order for you to understand a little better of what, um, what I want from you, I want you to go and watch some of the simulated termite data. Um, and answer these questions. These are as simple, these questions are as simple as they seem. 
if if you're don't overcomplicate this. So you're literally going to look at this this video here. And I'm literally asking you what color is the circle? Literally. Okay? And that's really all because I want you to pay attention to the things that are important here. So um so there's one um and there's a second one. It's another, it's another circle. Again, these are super simple questions and answers. I just want you to think in, in, in those times of way. Um, and then once you've done that, um, I want you to do the experiment. You're going to use simulated termite data, um, to fill out this form and the simulated termite data is hang on i gotta gotta find i gotta tell you where it is first simulated simulated termite data is available here so if you scroll up to the assignment click on here you have a list of simulated termite data and you choose what marker you have the termites running and which termites you're going to pick and how many of them um, and then you're going to fill out um this form based on the data um that that you gather uh based on the decisions you make um and when you're done filling out this form you're going to get a super secret code and you're going to put the super secret code in somewhere uh, there that's where your super secret code goes. And then here as an essay question, you want to, I, I want to, I want to hear how you did this experiment, what you paid attention to, um, what you didn't pay attention to. And there are some things that you need to pay attention to in a video that you wouldn't, um, wouldn't have to pay attention to in real life, right? Um, you can run a video double time and uh, you can't run real life double time. So you know, your timing would be different or the length of your video may be different. So you may want to pay attention to that. Um, and then what conclusions did you draw from your experiment? And that's basically um, what this is all about. I hope this was helpful. I hope this gave you a little bit of a better idea um, of what we're looking at here.